So you just matched with Creighton University, but now you're scrambling to figure out where exactly you should live. Well, in this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the different options in the area so you can get a better idea of what there is to choose from and what might be a good fit for you. Now, it's a little, little bit cold right now, so let's go back to my office and talk more there. Okay, so welcome to my office. Let's look at the map of where exactly the Creighton University Medical Center is in Omaha. So I've got Google Maps pulled up right here. I'm gonna zoom out so we can get an idea of where it's at in Omaha. Now, I've done a separate video that I'm gonna to link to above uh, about the geography of the Omaha area. So where the airport is, where other uh, cities are located. So I'm not gonna go into a great amount of detail about where uh, the Crane Med Center is in this video, but check out the other video to get a better idea of the Omaha area in general. For Creighton Medical Center, it is located kind of in the midtown area of Omaha. It's very centrally located. So I'm gonna zoom in right here. Um, it's gonna be right here. It's gonna be just north of I-80. Uh, 72nd Street is this major street that runs north and south uh, right next to uh, the Med Center. And then you've got uh, 680 here and some neighborhoods that we're gonna talk about shortly, Exarbin, um, uh, Dundee, Benson, few other important things to note, uh, the VA Medical Center is going to be right over here. Might be useful in case you ever have to spend time there, work there. Uh, the University of Nebraska Medical Center, so uh, another medical center in Omaha, is going to be located right up here, not too far from uh, Creighton Med Center. So probably useful to know in case you ever have to do any time there. Something else I want to note before we talk in more specific about the areas. Uh, so CHI is the private health organization that is associated with the Creighton Med Center, and they have several hospitals around the Omaha area. So there is a chance that while you're doing uh, your residency fellowship, you might have to go to some of the other CHI hospitals. Here is a map of the different hospitals. So the black one is going to be the Creighton Med Center. You have uh, one in uh, Council Bluffs, you have Emanuel uh, up to the north. You have uh, CHI Lakeside to the west and then uh, Midlands in Papillion down south. Crate's gonna be very centrally located uh, to all these hospitals. There is also one in Lincoln, just so that you're aware of that. That's gonna be down here. That's gonna be about a 45 minute to an hour drive to get to if you're in Omaha. Just kinda wanna set the stage so you know where things are at. Jumping back to Creighton Med Center itself, let's zoom in and you can see that uh, the Med Center is surrounded by cemeteries on a couple sides. One of the best steakhouses in Omaha is gonna be right here, the Drover. You've got a Walmart Super Center right next to the Med Center. Now, from a neighborhood standpoint, uh, first let me talk about uh, what's called West Side or District 66. So West Side, slash District 66 is uh, can mean a few different things. That is generally a reference to the school district, uh, and it's also a reference to the area that the school district covers. The Med Center is kind of surrounded by uh, West Side District 66, and uh, the high school, West Side High School, is gonna be right here. Now, if you wanted to live in any of uh, you know, these areas right here, it's gonna be pretty pricey. Uh, most of these are gonna be single family homes. There are going to be a few apartment complexes, um, you know, right around here, a couple scattered. But for the most part, the uh, this neighborhood is going to have homes that are, you know, 400,000 and up, um, sometimes 600,000 and up. So if you wanna live really close, uh, you know, you're gonna probably, have to buy um, and it's gonna be expensive. Now there are a few uh, you know, cheaper homes to the south. So this area down here is gonna be a little bit cheaper um, than the area right up here. So this is sometimes called Loveland. Uh, you'll have different areas uh, with different names. So Loveland is kind of a reference to the uh, school 
or uh, the neighborhood itself. So you've got Loveland and then you've got old Loveland up here. Just want to kind of help you when you start hearing some of the terms um, and names that you know what people are talking about. Okay, so the next neighborhood we're going to talk about is Exarbon. Yes, that is how it's pronounced. It's actually Nebraska spelled backwards. Um, right now I'm in Exarbon Village, which is kind of the commercial district that is near uh, kind of the Exarbon residential neighborhood. So this actually used to be a horse track. And so now it's a big commercial district. The UNO Arena, the Baxter Arena, is right across the street. There are movie theaters, corporate headquarters, um, restaurants, uh, a nice park as well. In Exarbon Village, you'll also find uh, newer apartment complexes. And then outside Exarbon Village, there are going to be a lot of single family homes. Now, some of those homes are going to be for rent, but a lot are for sale as well. All right, so let's talk about where Exarbon exactly is. So it's very close to the Creighton Med Center. When I was filming, I was right here. Uh, so that's gonna be you know, right at the entrance of Exarbon Village, where the commercial district is. A few other things to note. Um, college of St. Mary, right here, that's an all women's college. It's pretty small, but just want you to be aware of that. Uh, this gray area right here is actually uh, the South Campus of the University of Nebraska Omaha. It's also called the Scott Campus now. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit. So the University of Nebraska Omaha main campus is going to be up here. And so uh, in Exarbon, you're going to be, you know, encountering lots of students, college students. So just be aware of that. You will also have a uh, public golf course right here, it's smaller golf course. And let's talk a little bit about the boundaries of Exarbon. Now, the thing to note about Omaha and this area, Midtown to the east and to the north, there aren't really distinct boundaries uh, of the neighborhoods. So what I'm telling you is my interpretation. Some people may say the boundaries are a little bit different. So there's not like this street is when this neighborhood begins and then this street is when another neighborhood begins. If I had to put a uh, boundary on Exarbon, we'll just kind of put it right around here. So that's gonna be kind of the boundary of Exarbon. You've got the downtown area with the cinema, with restaurants, um, with a lot of, lot of things to do, corporate headquarters. Now, the other thing to note about the uh, Exarbon Village is there are going to be newer apartment complexes. So you have like Pinhook Flats and a few others. So a lot of this stuff here is going to be newer. Now, when you get over to the east and you get to uh, these residential streets over here, uh, that's where a lot of the homes are gonna be. So the bigger apartment complexes are generally gonna be closer to uh, the Exarbon uh, Village area. They just built a new one down here. Uh, but these streets over here are all gonna be more single family homes. You'll have the occasional duplex. The other thing is these are gonna be older homes. So this area here, the homes are going to be built around the 1920s to 1950s. They're gonna be smaller homes. They're gonna be like 1,000, 1,500 square feet. They are also going to have smaller yards. Another thing you should be aware of is if you are looking for a place to live in the Midtown area, it's important to know about parking because these homes in these areas often will have maybe a single car garage if you're lucky. Sometimes you'll have a two car garage, that's a premium, but a lot of the times you'll have people that live in the area that have multiple cars and have to park on the street. Be aware when you are looking at rentals, when you're looking to buy, you are keeping in mind where you're going to park. Now, if you're wanting to buy a home in this area, expect to spend about $200,000 to $350,000. It's just gonna depend on the condition of the home, uh, how big it is, etc. For rentals, I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail about what you know, it costs to rent because I'm not an expert at rentals. I help people buy and sell homes. So just go on apartments.com, 
Uh, Zillow will also have some rentals. Go on those sites to get an idea of what it might cost to rent in this area. Now, if you want to live in one of the most popular entertainment districts in Omaha right now, then you might want to live in Blackstone. The downtown area has a lot going for it. So it's got a coffee shop. It's got the best ice cream shop in Omaha. It's also got bars, restaurants. It's also got probably the best hotel in Omaha right now. So a lot of things going for it. Blackstone sounds amazing. So what are the downsides? Well, if you want to buy a home, this isn't really right for you. Most of the places in Blackstone are going to be rentals. Another downside of living in kind of an entertainment district is there's gonna be more commotion. There's gonna be more activity in the evening. So it's not going to be the quietest area to live in. So I'm just gonna to briefly touch on Blackstone because you may start hearing about how Blackstone is this up and coming neighborhood. Now Blackstone in reference to the Creighton Med Center is gonna be over here. Now it's going to be really close to the University of Nebraska Medical Center. So if you choose to live in Blackstone, there's a good chance you're gonna be interacting with a lot of med students from, from UNMC. Let's take a look at the downtown area where I filmed is gonna be right about here. Now Blackstone has a lot of things going for it and it has newer apartment complexes. They've been tearing down a lot of older homes to build some newer apartment complexes. So if you want to live in the area, you're gonna have a lot of options, uh, newer options, as well as some older options as well. Now it's not gonna be a great place to buy a home because there really aren't many single family homes. If you are looking to maybe buy a condo, there is a place called Midtown Crossing right here that has uh, condos as well as apartments. So it could be a pretty good option if you're really looking to buy something, but then you don't wanna have to worry about maintenance. Uh, Midtown Crossing has a, a bunch of different options when it comes to buying condos. It's just a matter of if there's anything available when you're going to buy. The next neighborhood we are going to talk about is Benson. Now, Benson is located near 60th and Maple. Right now I'm in the downtown district, uh, which has quite a bit going for it. So it's got one of the most popular music venues, as well as a bar that doubles as an arcade, a really great sushi restaurant. If you wanna live in Benson, it actually has some of the more affordable homes in the area that we've talked about so far. Uh, there are also uh, homes that you can rent as well as apartment complexes that are newer. So it could be a good neighborhood to consider. So where exactly is Benson? Well, Benson is going to be up north here. So you've got the Creighton uh, University Medical Center down south. Benson is right here. It's actually, uh, it goes a little bit farther to the north. So the downtown area of Benson will be right here. So where I was at, it's gonna be right here. Yoshitomo is the really good sushi restaurant. Waiting Room Lounge is gonna be a wonderful, uh, popular music venue. Uh, Ika Ramen has wonderful uh, ramen. So that's where the downtown area is. There are also going to be some bigger, newer apartment complexes near the downtown area. So you have uh, The Mill is the name of one of them. You also have Benson Lights. Those are going to be the main apartment complexes near Benson. You'll also have options when it comes to rentals, whether it's a single family home, some uh, townhomes as well. Like I said earlier, Benson's gonna be one of the cheapest areas to purchase a home in in Midtown. Expect to spend about 150 to 275,000. Uh, there are a lot of different homes, single family homes to choose from in this area and to the north. Uh, the first home I ever bought uh, was actually right up here. So I have a soft spot for Benson. Benson went through a big rejuvenation and a bunch of restaurants and bars went in you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago, uh, and it's still a great place to hang out. A few things to note about Benson Homes is you might have to be aware of parking as well. Uh, you may or may not have a garage. The lots are gonna be a little small, similar to Exar, but maybe a little bit bigger. You may have to do a little bit of work to a home if you get it at a good price. You're gonna pay a premium 
if the home has been renovated and is move-in ready. That brings us to my favorite neighborhood in all of Omaha, Dundee. Now, I'm a little biased because I actually lived here for 10 years. Uh, my office is right over there. My bank is right over there. There are lots of different options to choose from, whether you wanna buy a home, Although the one downside is it is a popular neighborhood, therefore the homes are going to be a little bit more expensive, but there are still a lot of rental options and the downtown area is pretty great. So you've got uh, uh, several restaurants, you've got an ice cream shop, you've got a coffee shop. And other than downtown, it's probably the most walkable neighborhood in Omaha. So Dundee is going to be to the northeast of the Creighton University Medical Center. It's gonna be right here. So downtown Dundee, where I was at, is right here at 50th and Underwood. So that will have the a pizza place, it'll have a breakfast place, it will have a ice cream place and more. Now, if you are looking to buy a home, Dundee is going to be probably the most expensive of the neighborhoods in Midtown. If I zoom out a little bit uh, and talk about the boundaries a little bit of Dundee, uh, Dundee itself is going to be kind of right about here. You know, some people may disagree. So this will be Dundee itself. Over here, you're gonna have what's called Memorial Park and also Fair Acres. If you're looking to buy, these homes are going to cost about 500,000 plus. You will have homes that are a million dollars plus. The homes do get a little cheaper as you go east. Let's talk about some of the rental options. Now, if you're looking to rent, most of the rentals that you're gonna come across are going to be kind of in this sliver right here. There is a newer apartment complex called the Duke that's going to be right here. It is massive. I don't know how many units are there. Uh, it's going to be very convenient to the Un University of Nebraska Medical Center, but also an option if you want to live and enjoy Dundee while also going to Creighton Med Center. You will also have the option of living in a duplex or maybe an apartment complex that has four units. Dundee itself is not gonna have a ton of brand new apartment complexes. The Duke, like I said, is one of the biggest ones. There are a couple, but not very many. So expect if you're going to live in Dundee, you might be living in something that was built in 1910, 1920, uh, but it is a very walkable neighborhood. Uh, I lived there for 10 years. I love Dundee. I am filming this right now in Dundee. Uh, it's gonna be very convenient to get to Creighton Med Center. You can take either uh, Saddle Creek over, you can take Dodge to 72nd, and it's also going to be close to the uh, Orbit bus line on Dodge Street. So that covers some of the neighborhoods that are close to the Creighton Med Center. I didn't go into great detail about other neighborhoods around especially West Omaha. What I'm gonna do is create another video that goes into a little bit more detail on those neighborhoods. So check out the link above. If I've made the video, I still need to make it. Uh, that will help you determine if you want to live close by or a little bit further to the west or north or south. And if you're looking to buy a home, check out my website, omahaphysicianloan.com. That goes into a little bit of detail about what your options might be as a physician when you're buying a home. Also check out some of my other videos about Omaha on my channel. Maybe you're just starting your journey, figuring out if you wanna to apply to Creighton or even UNMC. Those will help answer some of your questions about what there is to do, uh, how to get around, things like that. Thank you so much for watching. Please reach out if you have any questions and best of luck on your journey at Creighton Medical Center.